V B N the Rich Video Blog Network, home to weekly NFL predictions, great personality profiles, great professional wrestling video blogs, great sports video blogs, great MBTA video blogs, great top ten list of everything and anything, plus a whole lot more. Collection of my work goes back to June of 2014 on various social media websites. RVBN, the only video blog on the internet that matters. Time now is 7.12 in the morning, Belwick, Massachusetts. It's Monday, May 1st, 2017. It's cloudy out in Belwick, about 47 degrees. It could be some sunshine today and about 62, which is an average temperature where we should be this time of year. Only one warm day this week. That's going to be tomorrow. It's going to be 77, but it's going to be humid and Mostly cloudy sky, some rain showers, and thunderstorms. And the rest of the week should be average temperatures with sunshine and clouds and some rain showers. Sometimes in April and May we get stuck in these cloudy, wet, and damp patterns which take weeks to break. Some news to report on the RVBN Newswire. Do, 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 do. Boston Red Sox beat the Chicago Cubs by the score of 6-2 last night. The Anaheim Ducks beat the Edmonton Oilers by the score of 6-3 last night. They cut the series deficit to 2-1. to one. Kelly Ripa is going to announce a new live co-host today. So, wonder who it, that's going to be. It's Happy National Law Day in the United States. Happy National Loyalty Day in the United States. And it's Happy International May Day. May Day, May Day, May Day. And that's about it on news from the RVBN News. Why do, 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 do. Be back in the flash with my first video blog subject of the day. Flash, 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 flash. Ah, VBN. I'm back. My first video blog subject of the day is my personality profile. Today's personality profile is about former Major League Baseball pitcher Jim Longborg. Jim Longborg was famous for being with the Boston Red Sox. In 1967, he was the ace of the Impossible Dream Team. And he had a decent Major League Baseball career. And Jim was born and he grew up in San Ana, California. And he played baseball in high school. He was a very good baseball pitcher. Then he went to Stanford University when he was on the baseball team. The Boston Red Sox signed Jim Lomborg in 1964. This was prior to the, to the Major League Baseball Amateur Draft, which happened one year later. Jim spent only one year in the minor leagues. He was called up in 1965. He played for the Red Sox and the Brewers and the Phillies during a 15-year Major League Baseball career. Jim was on the Red Sox in 1965 and 1966 when they were so, so horrible. But in 1967, he was the age of the Pistons pitching staff, pitching 22, winning 22 games, and winning the 1967 A.O. Cy Young Award, which he was the first Red Sox pitcher to do, which is pretty amazing. Jim's Red Sox career was never the same because in the offseason of 1967, after the impossible um, the impossible dream team, he went on a a skiing trip in, in in California and he broke his leg. That wasn't very good at all. Back then Major League Baseball players and pitchers didn't have in their contract that they could didn't have a clause in contract they were forbidden to go skiing. So he it was he did it and he broke his leg and was never the same pitcher with the Red Sox. He he, have, he got traded to the Brewers in 1971. He had some solid years with the Philadelphia Phillies in the 1970s as, a, as the number two pitcher behind Steve Carlton. 
He retired after the 1979 season. He has eight seasons of 10 or more wins, nine seasons of 100 or more strikeouts, four, four seasons of 200 innings pitched, six seasons of 30 or more starts, one season he had an ELA under three, three seasons he pitched 10 or more complete games. He won the 1967 Cyan Award. He pitched in one All Star game, and Jim finished in the top ten in AL MVP voting in 1967. Finishing sixth, he has won uh, AL MVP that year when he won the Triple Crown. And Jim's career stats. Uh, 157 wins, 137 losses, a 3.86 ERA, 1,475 strikeouts, 368 um, games started, 90 complete games, 15 shutouts, and 2,464.1 innings pitched. After Jim Retired from Major League Baseball, he went to Tufts Dental School, graduated in 1983, and Jim opened up a dental practice in the South Shore. He's still doing dentistry. Mike Adams, who is a, who used to be on sports radio, W-E-E-I, um, is his goes to him as a dentist, and Jim is involved in many nonprofit organizations, including the Jimmy Fun, which is the Red Sox charity. In 2002, Jim was honored by the Red Sox to be put in the Hall of Fame. He made the Baseball Hall of Fame ballot in 1985, but Jim did not get the necessary votes to remain on the ballot, and he was dropped. And that's about it on Jim Longborg. And I'll be back later. Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google Plus. Two more video blocks for your entertainment. One will be about, is this the end of the LA Clippers as we know it? <coughs> and the third and final video blog of the night. <coughs> Sorry about that. Will be about the top ten Major League Baseball managers of all time. We never run away from you. Keep coming, everybody. I'm Julie Bunny Guy, Molly Wilson, WCCO Locks, and has nice legs. Elizabeth Hatz, so, so sunny. She's the best. Amy Sweezy's awesome. Awesome, Amy. Linda Church of WPIX. Channel 11, New York, Central Rock, and Googles. <coughs> Got the best legs in New York City. By non Pop Gives of ABC 11. Sweet Southern Accent. Best legs in Raleigh, North Carolina. And in the world of Charlotte, you get out. Bye now.